Welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel. Are you guys hungry? Well, it's Traeger Day, so let's get to cooking, everyone. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel. And guess what day it is? Yes, it's that day again. It's Traeger Day. And what are we going to do today? We're going to make beef jerky. And we're going to do this a little different. I'm not going to use a brine like I normally do. I'm going to uh, do a combination of olive oil and some um, uh, beef rub. And so I'll show you more details of what I'm going to do. But first thing we're going to do is I, I bought a roast and I had it cut for me at the grocery store. And uh, what we're going to do first is trim off the fat. Uh, not totally all of it, but, uh, you know, to about 5 or 10% of the what I got left. So, yeah, let's get started on that. And believe me, this will be good stuff. And we're going to do it on the Traeger. And we're going to do it on the smoke setting for a long period of time. But towards the end, I want to make sure I get the temperature to at least 160 degrees or above uh, to just make sure that we get the uh, uh, meat cooked thoroughly. Uh, that's actually one of the standard practices of doing beef jerky is cooking at the temperature of 160. So that's what we're going to do too. So anyway, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to use a uh, beef bottom round roast. And what I did is I picked it out and I had them cut it or slice it for me at the uh, Safeway uh, butcher area. So we're going to pull this out and trim it and then we're going to put it into this bowl right here. And then we're going to put the seasoning on the way I described. So here we go. Today we're going to use holy cow rub, minced garlic, olive oil, and chopped onions. Yep. And we're going to put them all into the olive oil and mix it together.
but guys as you can see I can never get all of my jerky in the first load because I don't have the giant trigger so I'll do two runs today so between the two runs I'll show you all my processes but basically I'm going to leave it on smoke as for hours and if it doesn't look like they're getting cooked and it looks like my temperature is definitely getting up to 160 so I'm happy about that on smoke mode and we'll leave it like that and we'll just keep monitoring until I think they're done and enjoy and then load it up again okay guys while we're waiting for the uh, jerky to cook I wanted to show you a little secret don't tell Traeger <laughs> well if they sponsor me I will not use this anymore but uh, I was up in Redmond Oregon and found out that they're making pellets up there and I got my pellets uh, for $8.50 or $8.95 a, a bag and they have all the different flavors uh, let's see. I'll show you the bag here you got smoked his, uh, hickory, mesquite, uh, northwest apple, cherry, a gourmet blend, alder, and maple and it's made in Redmond, Oregon, right here, proudly made. 100% hardwood, no flavor oils or additives. And uh, I don't see... So it's a 20-pound bag. Uh, keep it in a dry place, which is not a problem in Arizona. And uh, I don't know... Uh, they got some uh, great information back here. And uh, they are local oh, PacificPellet.com. So PacificPellet.com is where you can find these. And uh, if I like them, I'm going to order a pallet if I have to. Anyway, so I thought I'd show you this little finding here. And uh, once again, it's called PacificPellet.com in Redmond, Oregon. And uh, Probably made in the USA, Redmond, Oregon. So yeah, back to the jerky. All right, guys. So it's been about an hour, hour and a half, and we're gonna check on the uh, jerky to see how it's doing. I have no idea what I'm gonna see, so let's take a look. Wow. Wow. So these things look really, really good. So what I'm just gonna do now is just turn them. Uh, and uh, let them get through. They look really cooked, but they need to dry out a little more. So, yeah, these look really good. Okay, it's getting time to pull these beef jerky pieces. And uh, one of the things I noticed when I cooked them the way I'm doing is I use the olive oil mix and stuff. So they tend to be a little bit more oily than your typical... Uh, beef jerky but they look delicious and I got a friend of mine with me Derek <laughs> and we're gonna check this out see what it looks like so here we go we're gonna open her up oh my god does that look good or what <laughs> would, you, would you eat that I would eat probably all of it <laughs> so this is basically making jerky in um, in a Traeger we're gonna pull it out and uh, we'll do a little taste test yeah, so I did these a little different than I normally do, and I uh, didn't. All right, so it's the taste test, and I've got my uh, guinea pig here to try it out. So we have some little pieces here. So go ahead and grab a little thing. Tell me what you think. And try one too. Good. I'm not sharing anymore. No, I wouldn't either. It's really good. So comes out really good. Um, go ahead and try another one. Boy. It's moist, easy to chew. Oh, damn. Right? I like how it's hot. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we did good. So uh, in the beginning of the video, you saw that I had more left and I got it loaded again. So the process is the same, but this came out really good. And uh, I highly recommend it. It was olive oil. And uh, you saw the fixed things I showed everything on there. And enjoy. Beef jerky 
in the Traeger. Do it. <laughs> Try it out. Good stuff. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. Hey, thanks for joining us making jerky in the Traeger. A little different process this time. It came out really good. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We appreciate it. See you next time. Bye.